Hello, one friend. Hi, friend. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm about to be eating. What about you? Me too. Okay. I'm kind of sad about it, but, you know, it's life. Well, they got to try before they buy it. All right? All right. Cheers. So, I have brought in my husband, Ryan, as you guys know. Hello, everybody. So, <laughs> I think I'm going to get started on something maybe that I think that I'm going to like the least. Let's go to the best to the worst. No, you have to end on a good note. End on a good note? Yeah, you okay. can't end on a bad note. I feel like that's just a terrible idea. Let's jump idea. right in. So, the worst to the best. And let's go with, I feel like I'm not going to like this. So this is the new Hershey's Layer Crunch Bars, and this is the mint flavor. Um, I love mint things. So this says a dark chocolate bar with chocolate cookie bites and mint cream. When's the last time Hershey's made anything else besides Hershey bars? <gasps> so we're gonna try this one. It's mint. It smells so good. I love anything with mint flavor. This it smells a, like an Andy's mint or... Um, yeah, it does. So this should be good. I'm really excited for this, actually. I thought I was gonna like, wasn't going to like, was going to like it, but the more I'm smelling it, I love it. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I don't think you're going to like it either, but let's no. see. Cheers. Boom. Oh, mom. Mmm. This is awful. <laughs> you don't like Andy's mints? Mm -mm. So let me tell y'all, I love thin mint cookies from the Girl Scouts. And I love Andy's mints. So this just puts you in the mind of Andy's mints and or Girl Scout cookies. But I will say that that's one of the things that you just can't eat all the time. Or never. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the green mint though, so that doesn't help. The green mint mixed with chocolate. It's like I'm eating candy, but your mouth feels fresh afterwards for some so strange good. reason. So good. I love it. You don't know if you're eating a mint or candy. <laughs> mints are candy. Uh, I eat mints like they're candy. Probably. Comment down below if you eat mints like they're candy. I love mints. Yeah. All right. So next we're going to try the score bar. Now, I grew up seeing this candy bar. Yeah. And I never knew it was a candy bar, even though I saw it that it was a candy bar. In the candy section? I've just never bought it because the packaging is just not ideal for like a small child. Like when you're a kid, you look at this and you're like, this looks like an adult candy, you know? Even as an adult, that's not an adult <laughs> candy. Now it's an old person candy. It's so, just a candy for the generation. Whatever generation it was made in, you keep it. You don't want it. <laughs> you don't know if it, it might be good. So it's a delicious milk chocolate crisp butter toffee. I love toffee. I, this is the candy bar that you saw in the store and you just you just never bought it. It was right next to the Snickers and you go over it to pick up the Snickers and you, and you don't. I like toffee, so I'm really interested in how this is gonna taste. This is gonna be gross. I think it's gonna be good. Oh, it's really cute. It has to look, it looks like, can you show them? Mm -hmm. It looks like it was like drizzled on there. Yeah. My tooth broke. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. I would definitely eat this again. Really? Yeah. Would you buy it again? I would. So what do you rate it as? I would rate this like a three and a half. We doing halves now? Yeah. <laughs> when? <laughs> <laughs> Since now. <laughs> I'll rate this a three and a half. I really like toffee and crispy candies. I like crispy um, everything. <laughs> I'll give it a two thumbs up and a number to the dentist. <laughs> Finishing up with the candy bars. I've never right. heard this before. This is called a zero bar. Can I see it? It's like the packaging is silver, so you can't really Let's see. Try. Just comment down below if you ever try these. So it is a caramel peanut and almond nougat covered white fudge. Oh, I didn't read that earlier. White fudge. Is it a new company or is it like, who's it by? Hershey. Hershey. Shout out to Hershey. Yo, that looks amazing. I just, I just like the way it looks. 
It looks really cool. It does. Almost like I don't even want to bite it. Oh, it smells like. Don't don't ruin it for me. Don't ruin it for me. Oh, oh wow. wow. That looks different than what I thought. Yes. Yeah. That looks way different than what I thought. The inside looks more like a Milky Way. Yeah, it has like a Milky Way type center. Let's see. One, two. <laughs> You know, I see why they call it a zero. Because <laughs> that's the rating I'm going to give it. <laughs> Ladies! We are so excited. Have you heard of church pads? If not, you are missing out. Ladies, not only is this pad proven to decrease your cycle, decrease your cramps, and balance your pH. And that's because it's made of natural material. That means it doesn't cause cervical cancer, ladies. That's right. These pads have literally changed my life, and I know yes. that they're going to change yours, too. So, what are what you, you waiting, waiting for? for? I mean, go down below and click. click they have click, all click. different kinds of varieties. Click, click, go click. check them out now. All right. This is Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Mm. What does it smell like? I'm only going to pour a little bit of this because I feel like it is sugary to the max. It, it reminds like, me of great medicine. It reminds me of grape. But that lid's so different. It reminds me of Fago. Oh, Fago grape, yes. Shout out to people who know what Fago grape is because I feel like not everybody knows what really? flavor. Yeah, Fago is a Detroit thing. Yo, I, it's if a you Michigan don't drink thing. Fago, that's weird, yo. They have like K pop or um what is it called? Fago. No, the Fago brands are different. Depending on what state you're in. So we're from Michigan, so we we have Fago. But there's like Circle Pop or K-Pop or something like that. That's a different brand. Or Shiska or something like that. Fago. So Fago is just Fago. another brand. So you have Fago Grape. Fago. And this <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this. Ready? I don't know if it's because we don't drink pop very often, but you this is it. a this is like a sugar high. How do you drink this and not get cavities? Legit, I um I don't know how I feel about it. Like I wouldn't drink this on a regular. Or no, never. Yeah, I probably wouldn't drink this. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste good. Again, I think it's like a dessert beverage. Yeah. We have like a sweet tooth and you want something to drink. But this if you if you're thirsty, this is not fulfilling that that need at all. Probably make Well it really better. realistically, if you're thirsty, you should just drink water. Because that's the only thing that's gonna clench your quench your thirst. Yeah. Or Jesus, who's the living waters. Ah. Alright. So before we hop into the Skittles, we did have this and I forgot about it. This is the Hershey's Gold. So if you are not from America and you're watching this, Hershey's has introduced their first um, candy bar since the original one. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's been a really long time. They haven't made a new Hershey's chocolate bar in a really long time. So this one is the Peanuts and Pretzels Caramelized Cream. To be a thousand percent honest, I have not heard good reviews about it, but I still wanted to try it. Whoa. It mm. smells... Peanut buttery. What does it look like? It looks like a regular uh, Hershey's bar. Yeah, so it has the regular Hershey's logo, logo on design. it and design. On the back, you can see like the pretzels in there. This Hello is box. history, friends. Hello, one friend. Hi, friend. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm about to be eating. What about you? Me too. Okay. I'm kind of sad about it, but you know, it's life. Well. They gotta try it before they buy it. Right? All right. Cheers. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why make candy anymore? <laughs> Just stop it. <laughs> I'm really sad that that's not good. Yeah. Like, because they really hype that up to be like, we haven't made a candy bar in all these years and it's gonna be great. Our first candy bar outside the regular Hershey's. And it's like, that's what you gave me with. And also, you, I feel like you should have enough data to know what we want and don't want. Yeah. I'm really sad. I was really hoping that the reviews I heard were 
just wrong. Yeah. Or like, you know, just based off of like, oh, some people just don't like that. But no, it's really not good. I'm I'll, really sad mm, about that Hershey's. This is, it's I'm almost really the second worst candy bar we had today. Yeah, it's right behind that zero bar. <laughs> right behind? It's right behind it. <laughs> I gave the zero bar zero, so I'm definitely going to give that zero a solid 0.5. I'll give it a one. All right, so next we're going to hop into these Skittles. Are that fire Skittles? Yes. What are you so doing? So I just saw these for the first time today, and I didn't even know these were out. Um, so these are sweet heat, uh, fruity flavors with a spicy kick. So I'm super excited to try these. So they have flavors like lemon spark, flaming orange, fiery watermelon, blazing mango, and sizzling strawberry. Mmm. What flavor would you like to try? You know what? If these are really hot and you mix these in with a regular bag of noodles, a bag of Skittles, you would never know the difference. Probably. <laughs> you can probably print somebody with these Skittles. Mm. But look at it. It doesn't look any different from like a regular thing of Skittles. So if these are really hot, we can offer someone Skittles and they can be burned around. Yeah, but be careful that they don't give them to the kids. All right, so I'm gonna try the sizzling strawberry and the fiery watermelon, I think. I'm trying the flaming orange. One, two, three. It tastes sweet. I'm waiting for the fiery kick. Me too. Ah, I got it now. It's a very, oh, I got it now. It's very, very mild though. It's not like overwhelming kick. Like it's like a little kick at the very, very end. I think it's when you put multiple in your mouth at one time, you'll probably get like the big burning sensation. But these are just regular Skittles. Most definitely sweet. Yeah. Most definitely sweet. And then the yeah. kick is like at the very end. At the very, very end. I don't despise them. Would I buy them again? No. Probably it seems like these candy places are reaching for something. Yeah. Are you losing money? <laughs> you can tell us. We're good listeners. Um. So what no. would you rate these out of five? I'm disgraced. I'm going to rate these a one. These are the Sweet Heat Skittles. Zero. And I don't think that they are that great. I would say zero for me. All right. And last but not least, we have Doritos. Yeah. Uh, give us a different flavor. Because I feel like even when they try to do a different flavor. Hey, give us like a sour cream and cheese. Oh, that would be good. So that's free, Dorito. Sour so cream and cheese. baked potato Doritos? Yeah. It just says blaze. So is it just spicy? I smell it from here. Intense flavor eruption. Cataclysmic crunch. Amped up fiery heat. It's like licking a volcano. If you're licking volcanoes, <laughs> if this smells more, smells more like a pepper. Ooh. Yeah. It's not as um, flavored. A seasoned. Seasoned as the other one. But it smells But like, it smells really spicy. It smells like a hot pepper. It smells like a hot pepper. I love hot peppers, so I'm really excited to try this. Throw it back. Yeah. It's a different tasting of hot, more like a hot peppery, and more of a peppery taste. Not bad, actually. If you really like hot foods, this would be like a chip version of eating hot food. I'll give it a, hmm. I'll give it a, I'll give it a three, but I don't know if I'll buy it again. I give it a three because it's it's different. Yeah. So I, I think I feel the same. I will give these a three. I don't know if I will buy them again. I probably wouldn't buy these, but if they were at somebody's house, I might put a little bit on my plate. If I was making at home uh, nachos, Ooh, nachos and nachos yeah. with like uh, the Doritos, then yeah. I wanted something a little bit more spicier I with my jalapenos yeah. and with my queso, for sure. Yeah. 
then you can use these for that. Yeah. But I wouldn't just buy them just to snack on them. I mean, they're good and yeah. they do taste different. So I will give you that, Doritos. A half a they point. They do. A half, half a, a point because they do taste different than the normal. But it's still a different variation of hot. Exactly. Well, that is all that we have for you today. <laughs> I don't know why well. So that's all we have for you today. I'm so glad that you guys tuned in. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And if you would like to see a part two of this, let me know. Or if you have any ideas of other things that you would like for me to try, please comment down below. I'm looking forward to trying new things before you buy. Thanks for tuning in for Life with, with the, the Lockets. Lockets. We love you guys. Bye.